Good morning. It's Bernard Nomberg with another episode of Nomberg Law Live. And as we do every week, like each Tuesday, we try to come to you with discussion with interesting people in their areas of expertise. And you guys may recognize this fella right here sitting next to me. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Bernard. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. If you don't know his name, he's Josh Sneed. You certainly know his work and you see him every Monday each week during the football season on SEC Shorts. He and his uh, creative partner, Robert Clay, have put this together in the last couple of years and have just entertained us beyond uh, we can imagine. And it is, we're going to get into that a little bit. But Josh, I want to welcome you to the show. I want to thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, Robert is sorry he couldn't be here. He's actually getting uh, pectoral implants. Excellent, uh, excellent. His frame is too weak to support muscles, so keep him in your prayers. Uh, keep an eye out for that GoFundMe. Uh, you know, just trying to, he looks really weird in shirts, so he's trying to just fill out. Well, he, I got a text from him a little while ago. He's really dedicated to his craft. He mm -hmm. says, unlike yourself, right. he goes all in. He, so we'll see what comes up in the upcoming videos <laughs> y'all got in store. Um, What's so great about the videos is we're in the we're in Birmingham, Alabama. We're in the heart of SEC country, and without a professional team, some say Alabama, we don't have other teams really to root for. There's Auburn down the road. There's Alabama, but geographically, the SEC conference is downtown, and everything kind of evolves and revolves around Birmingham when it comes to collegiate sports. At least those who live here think that. And that's what makes what you guys have created so great. And Josh, before we jump into that part, tell tell people who, who don't know your background just a little bit about yourself and how you got to where you guys are today. Right. Um, so SEC Shorts is like a sketch comedy series based around kind of like the funny things that happen in SEC football, <clears throat> which seems like a very like niche group. But um, SEC football is such a big deal that, you know, there are a lot of people that follow. So um uh, we kind of started uh robert and i worked together at a medical publishing company and um fine bomb had just started on the sec network sec network had just formed and uh they were <laughs> sorry looking for video submissions from fans they call them fan rants and we thought this would be a good opportunity to see ourselves on television uh, so we took full advantage of that and sent in a video and they aired it, liked it, asked us to do another one, uh, kept doing that every week, and we got excited. And, uh, like, now if you see our videos, there's lots of, like, costumes, actors, props. You know, we try to get, like, good locations. And at that point, it was just, uh, you know, whatever we could find. You know, it was, like, uh, corners of an office or just two people talking at a table or something. So it was very basic stuff, send it in. Um, and then at the end of that first season, um, we started doing it full time. Do you remember what the first video submission was? Yes, it was. Uh, let's see. It was during the Jacob Coker Blake Sims quarterback. Oh, I remember um, that. that. You're in the yard doing different things. Yeah, so I'm talking mm -hmm. to the camera, just sort of doing different stuff, like because um, because you know everybody was like, oh, oh, it's going to be this guy, it's going to be this guy. And, right, and, right. It's got to be Sims. It's got to. There's no contest. And then Coker gets in, does a good job. He's like, I, I knew it was going to be Coker the whole time. That's right. You know, Alabama fans always, you know, <laughs> they're always want to be on the right side of quarterback experts. history. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And so it just kind of blossomed from there and, mm -hmm. and has built up steam. So how often do you guys put out videos during the the course of the year? Yeah. So uh, in the off season, we put out one video a month. We have a sponsor, Renaissance Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're lucky enough to be able to put content out out in the off season. Uh, once the season starts to get up and running, we'll put out a video uh, every Monday morning. And then once we put that video up, we immediately start on our second video of the week, which is for the SEC Network, which mm -hmm. airs on SEC Nation Saturday mornings, which is kind of like their version of game day. Have, have you guys, I guess now you're kind of in a, a, a routine where you know by a certain time you've got to have certain things done during the week because you know your video has to come out. Yeah, so the network has to have the video by Friday because mm -hmm. you know they have to check it to make sure it's it's going to be ready if they, any changes they want and stuff like that. So. And, and you guys are always so timely. Uh, the video that if you haven't seen it, I'll post a link to it here. It's it's how tough it is uh, to be a, a Tennessee fan and being a Vandy guy myself. I, I thought it was beautiful, 
but take, talk us through kind of the creative process. How do you guys go from the blank slate, we know what's, what just happened in the games this past week, to the, what you want to share in the next week? So there are a couple different approaches. Like, you know, sometimes we'll have a good idea. You know, in this case, Robert had a really good idea. He, he'd seen a, an old clip of Man vs. Wild, and he was like, oh, that would be a good way to plug in, like, a bad team. A lot of people, like, you know, we've done a couple Tennessee videos now this year. So people are like, man, you guys are really dog in Tennessee. Uh, sometimes it's low, we just have low a, hanging fruit. Well, we just have a good idea for a video, and we're like, okay, we just got to plug in a bad team. Mm -hmm. So we're not necessarily like targeting Tennessee. It's just that oh, the Tennessee works best in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, the other way we do it is that <clears throat> we watch the games, mm -hmm. and then something crazy happens in a game, and it kind of sparks an idea. Mm -hmm. Last year, uh, the A and M, who was. And in Clemson, maybe well, there was like a questionable call, uh, like a fumble mm -hmm. that went out of bounds. <clears throat> so once we saw that, it kind of had an effect on how the, the game turned out. Mm -hmm. So we thought, oh, it'd be funny, like a you know, like a fake old Southern trial, you know, with like uh, lawyers and they're putting the uh, pylon camera on trial. <laughs> so we scrambled to find all the stuff we could to recreate, you know, like a courtroom and uh, put that one together. Your props room must be growing each week. We have a storage room downtown, mm -hmm. uh, like a little like storage area. And we started off with a small one, and within six months we had to get a bigger one because there's oh, sure. like the jerseys, the shirts, the costumes, the then the gear, all our video gear, and then props. Like our prop closet is it's insane. You know, tiger heads and you know, random vests. All kind of great stuff. But having uh, Funny Man appear the other week, <clears throat> that was a real, a real excitement. The yeah. folks who are his Man fans. Is, yeah, he, he's so good about um, reaching out to his fans and connecting with his fans. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're all part of like a unit, which is really, really cool to see. And he's super nice guy, really supportive of anything we've done. And um, we always like having him because he's, he's really fun to have on the set and stuff. We've done a couple of videos with them. Well, I know people who, who follow the weekly uh, videos that you guys put out are always looking to see if any other local celebrities or people are going to be making an appearance. So that'll be interesting. To see is this how you're, you're trying to angle to get into one of the videos? Yes, right now I'm, I'm actively asking and demanding. <laughs> uh, I do want to uh, take a, a second to give a shout out to Dan, Ruth, Mitch, Emily, Martin. We've got several people uh, that are watching. If you've got some comments or questions, uh, just throw them in, into the comments section and we'll uh, make sure that Josh answers them correctly. If you need any legal advice too, I would love to provide that right now. You did play a lawyer in the last month in a video. I did. We're very well done. Uh, supporting the victims of the uh, Alabama receiving court. <laughs> that's right. Gosh, they're so talented, but that's for another day. Um, let's, let's, Josh, let's, let's talk about, I know you've been asked this in, in the past. I have my favorite videos. Share some of the, the more memorable ones that come to mind with, with you, and I'll throw in my couple of ones and, and see what you think about those. Um, one we always look back on is like our first really big video was the um, uh, Ole Miss Goalpost video, mm -hmm. where, mm -hmm. uh, you know, back when, uh, gosh, seems like decades ago, Ole Miss beat Alabama. They tore down the goalposts and ran them out of the stadium. Mm -hmm. So the next year, Alabama came back, beat Ole Miss, but the video was the guys, the frat guys who took off with the goalpost. Mm -hmm. It was, they're still just like circling the country with the goalpost. And then they, when they hear that Alabama is beat on this. Mm -hmm. So um, that's probably one of my favorites. We did one last year. Um, I, I did like the lawyer one. I mm -hmm. love um, we did one that was like a murder mystery in this big elaborate mansion. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of fun to make. Yeah, those they're so creative, Robert, and, and you to come up with those the weekly ones, especially so quickly. It must be a, a little bit of a pressure cooker, and when you got to get them out. But the two that I really like, and I want to make sure I've got the right dates. January of eighteen, you came out with the Alabama and the playoff star and the Hollywood romance. Yes, that's a, that, that was, was a great one. one. That was a great one. Um, yeah, so it's kind of uh, modeled after a Nicholas Sparks trailer, mm -hmm. where you know you have people like kissing in the rain and. You know, you kind of tell the whole dramatic love story, but it was between Alabama and, and the playoffs. And <laughs> it was it was so well done, and you only had I guess maybe it was like two and a half minutes or so, but you packed in so much in that two and a half minutes. It was very very well was done. One of the first times we actually had a couple of days to shoot something because mm -hmm. 
you know, the season was already over, so we were just, you know, looking for something to do, and uh, came up with that, and it was so, it was, it was, yeah, it was, I remember it was really cold, and we were dumping water on mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. um, to add for that scene, it was freezing. <laughs> well, the other one that I really liked was about this time last year, that was the mid-season report cards, and Auburn wouldn't come down out of the, 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 uh, the loft. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was... Very well done with each of the teams showing up. Yeah, all the jokes for that one were pretty well thought out. It was about this time last year mm -hmm. because we're hitting the midway point. Right. It was the, I guess the theme was the, the mid-season <clears throat> mid report cards. Mm -hmm. uh, what I liked about this past video that we did, the, the Bear Girls one, is mm -hmm. that it gave me a chance to really showcase my impression, my impression skills. Yeah, I noticed and, uh, it wasn't a mid-state mid, mid Alabama impression. It was, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you it did was. deep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a time I can really show off my craft mm -hmm. and uh, just show the people, you know, what kind of talent I'm dealing with. I'm probably it's probably only a matter of time before I get scooped up by, you know, a big Hollywood production or one of the local law firms needing a lawyer. Exactly. I could like I could easily play lawyer. In court. Um, if you have any impressions you'd like to hear right now, mm -hmm. I could do a spot on without any practice. All right. The only one I'm going to ask you, is that. Robert the Clay. Josh, you know, you were so good. Yeah, we got to take another take. You wasn't good. You know, you're good. That's exactly how he says. <laughs> Robert, I'll give you the opportunity to come on anytime you want to, to reply Josh, to this. Josh, you're ruining the show. <laughs> I do want to welcome, let's see, Tim, uh, Chelsea, Stephen, all of you guys. Welcome from different parts of the state and, and different parts of the country. Talking with Josh Schnee. Josh is one of the co-creators with Robert Clay uh, doing SEC shorts. You guys have seen them. And their weekly videos, they're on YouTube. They have their own channel. They are affiliated now with SEC Shorts. Uh, what is the, what's that program uh, where you put out that second video each week? Oh, yeah. So we do, uh, yeah, that's uh, Thinking Out Loud mm -hmm. with Greg McElroy and Marcus Spears and Lisa Lane. Um, it airs Monday nights on SEC Network. And we do a segment called the SEC Archives, which we found like, Weird things that happen in old games, and we have this lab sort of. Uh, we have a lab set up where mm -hmm. we set up the clips and then um, kind of show people. You know, for for instance, the Alabama one was when the '95 Citrus Bowl when a dog ran out on the field, <laughs> and for a second, everyone was like, "Oh, it's a dog!" And then after about five minutes, Gene Stallings was like, "Someone needs to shoot this dog." Like, to get <laughs> yeah. Off the field. Well, I, I did see one of the ones you pulled from an old. Uh, I think about 94, 95 time period of Auburn and the Vanderbilt touchdown in the corner. That was, in today, that would have never been uh, allowed. <laughs> he, was, he was three feet out of bounds when he landed. Didn't catch the ball, but jumped up and held it up. And the ref was like, yeah. Yeah, we'll get feels, feels like a touchdown. It, it's Vanderbilt. But anyway, I can't rag on my school too much. Yeah. Uh, Josh, talk to us a little bit about, um, do you get submissions from the, the fans saying, hey, we want you to feature our, our school more or don't be as, as harsh on our team? What, how do you guys deal with that? I do. I, I, um, when I'm out walking around, I'll, I'll get people, um, you know, like yourself that say, you know, hey, uh, take it a little easy on Vanderbilt this year. Or, or if, you know, they, it's the beginning of the season and they know, like, you know, Arkansas fans be like, hey, uh, or if we, make, if we post a video of Tennessee – you know, making fun of Tennessee, Arkansas fans are like, I'm just so glad they didn't make fun of us this week. It wasn't so, us. Yeah, we get a lot of that. But it's all, you know, it's all good fun. It's, I don't think people are in legitimate fear that we're going to make fun of their team. Well, you know, you you don't target particular individuals. You don't target, uh, you don't go too far with it. And I think that's what makes it so appealable is you, you kind of hit the every fan in, in general. And that's what just seems like it, that plus being so timely I think really resonates with people who are watching. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we try to more like commiserate with the fan that, you know, if your team is doing well or not doing well, we try to just kind of identify with what the fan base is going through. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I've, I've noticed a, a little bit of a contrast, you know, funny man has his, how he watches the games each week and he, mm. he paid a little homage to, to Jalen, but what, who is so uh, still revered here. Uh, I haven't seen you guys, and maybe I've missed it, where you ventured outside the conference, except maybe a Clemson a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, but, um, you know, for playoff videos and stuff, mm -hmm. we'll have to include them. Um, we, we, we we put Clemson randomly in a video, I'd say maybe our second year we were doing, we did an Iron Bowl office feud where mm -hmm. um, 
you know, two Auburn, Alabama fan in office start, you know, getting after each other during the week leading up to the game. And then it starts to come to a head where they're about to <laughs> fight each other with crowbars. And a Clemson fan walks through, stops, and they both, you know, laugh at the Clemson fan. Because at the time, Clemson wasn't doing great. Right, right. We chose Clemson because that's the cheapest shirt we could find at the thrift store. Oh, that's great. Clemson fans will still mm-hmm. find that video mm-hmm. and be like, what's up now? Yeah. Like, that was a that was five, six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Long, so, long memories. Yeah. Long memories. But yeah. the, the beginning of that video kind of reminded me of the Ron Burgundy setting, uh, the office feud, and they yeah. take, they escalate it. Uh, but, yeah, that, that was so great. But, yeah, people don't forget when it comes to college football. You know that. Uh, now, growing up, were you a college football fan? Uh, yeah, growing up, um, so I grew up like childhood wise in Houston. Mm-hmm. So I was an A and M fan, and when I was twelve, we probably moved to yeah, twelve or thirteen. We moved to Alabama, mm-hmm. and that was the year Alabama won the championship. My whole family, they're all Auburn fans, mm-hmm. but Alabama won the championship that year. And when you move to Alabama, the first thing people tell you, you have to pick a team. Like you that's can't. right, because I was showing up to school in Auburn and Alabama shirts because family was oh different days, different family shirts. were buying me <laughs> were buying me you know mm-hmm. stuff from each team because you know they're like oh you got to pull so I was like okay free shirts I'm just wearing in the school and the PE teacher was finally like dude you got to pick a team this is embarrassing <laughs> like you're embarrassing your family you're embarrassing the school pick one team Alabama won the championship so, so you were a front runner you were twelve or thirteen at that yeah, time twelve <laughs> oh yeah by the time you're that age you definitely have to pick a school. Yeah, uh, unless you're an alum of, of a different school in the state like Troy or Sanford, et cetera. But yeah, you're right. But that's now Robert, I know, is an Auburn fan. Yeah. So it, does Auburn. that help the process or does that hinder the process when you're creating the scripts and the videos each week? <laughs> um, I don't know. There, I, I, there probably could be times where we're trying to decide between uh, making fun of Auburn and making fun of Tennessee, like maybe this weekend where. Mm-hmm. Auburn maybe didn't look so great, mm-hmm. um, but we already had a good idea to go with another one. So, you know, we've only got a certain amount of time, so we probably went with that. So, you know, maybe indirectly, sort of, kind of, it well, does. Well, what about watching the games each week? Do you have to sit down and watch, or do you just rely on the highlights, or the where do you get your, your news? <laughs> so, yeah, we really do sit down and watch the games just because – you never know when one little thing in the game, it could be like a reaction from somebody in the stands or a coach's reaction, something he says, or the uh, walking Mississippi off the State quarterback doing the, the helicopter. Oh my gosh, yeah. that, that would have been beautiful. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it just hit my mind about that fella. Yeah, <laughs> or, or you never know what like Saban is going to say walking off the field at a, a halftime mm-hmm. interview. So, <clears throat> you know, we watch them all just to get kind of. You never know what you're going to get inspired from. Well, I can just see discussions at home for the both of you. No, I really have to watch this game. It's for work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're one of the few who gets that excuse. Yeah. That it works. I have to watch this game. Not now. Not Can't now. go to the farmer's market with you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. I want to welcome my buddy Don in Houston, who's an Aggies fan. Allison, who cheered at Alabama. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chris, my buddy in Dothan, who's an Auburn guy. Chelsea, I don't know what school you went to. Tim, Martin, where'd you guys go to school? Mitch is a USC guy, but we still let him watch from Southern California. And my mom is on there who's an Alabama, a proud Alabama grad. We made a USC video one time when Alabama played USC and just uh, just beat them mm-hmm. really bad. Was that the um, game in the Jerry World about three or four yeah, years yeah. ago? The, the video was, uh, it was the USC video team had to come up with, a highlight tape from the Alabama game, mm-hmm. but I think they lost like fifty-two to three years. Yeah, it was terrible. horrible. So it was hard for them to. It was them trying to struggle to come up with anything from the game. Do you ever get in, into the process when you're you're filming your next video and it's just not working, and you guys just it, this isn't going to play. We need to come up with something different. Do you pivot? What do you do? We we've, we've done that twice where we've had to bail on an idea halfway through, and that's not easy to do. Usually we're like we got to do something. We'll just salvage this somehow Mm -hmm. um but there have been two ideas that were so bad we had to bail on halfway through when when do you do your your filming uh sunday morning Mm -hmm. so sunday morning we meet to talk about ideas and then uh once we decide on an idea we've got 12 hours to you know find actors a location Mm -hmm. uh, make props write a script um shoot it edit it all that stuff so 
So time really is a factor. So <laughs> if we're halfway through shooting something and bail on it, it's because it's truly terrible. And the first one was, um, it was the ghost of Auburn football past or something. Mm -hmm. And he visits this guy on the couch who's kind of fed up, mm -hmm. wants to quit being an Auburn fan. And this uh, ghost reminds him of all the great times that they've had in the past. And it was, it's, it was terrible. I was trying. It just to, didn't fully work for you. I was trying to like play a ghost and it, it was terrible. And then another one was the, uh, it was last year, I think, we were trying to do a virtual reality experience with, uh, it was a, a Tennessee fan puts on a virtual reality headset to see what it's like to be an Alabama fan. And we just, uh, it, I think it's a good idea, and we'll probably use it this year, maybe even soon. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we don't, we, we just couldn't pull it off last year with, with no like preparation. Okay. Well, give us an idea of where we're headed. I know you, your videos are blowing up. I, I noticed on your YouTube channel, it's hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, I looked at the old videos to see, and you could just see it building over time. I know you're you're trying to get the brand out there. It's, it's you guys have taken, uh, if I'm saying this right, y'all have taken ownership of of what you're doing. Yes. Uh, and so talk to us a little bit about, about where we're going with this. Yeah. So, you know, we're off on our own now. We've got our own sponsors, uh, you know, through Renaissance. Mm -hmm. They sponsor, you know, the off season, regular season videos. Um, and uh, we also have a contract with the SEC network, which helps uh, as well. So we're just, yeah, as far as growing the brand, like, you know, we good at making videos, but we're, <laughs> you know, we're not marketing professionals. So we don't, you know, the, it, and also, you know, if you're a fan of like Georgia, mm -hmm. you, you don't watch our videos every week. Probably you just someone says, "Oh, here's a funny Georgia video," so mm -hmm. you don't think, "Oh, I'm going to come back next week to see if they make another funny Georgia video." You just it pops up on your timeline because of the blog you follow or mm -hmm. someone you follow on Twitter. So you know, people are always in and out of watching. You know, the videos the, the people I run into maybe you know they've seen three to five videos maybe if they're an Alabama fan or something. Well, well, if, if you're a fan like myself and so many who I know, I want to watch to see if my school's going to be in it. Mm -hmm. But then I also want to watch who are they targeting this week because <laughs> that's what makes it so fun. Yeah. Um, now, a, a little bird told me, no, it's not Robert, that you're really hoping to take this to a musical on Broadway. <laughs> so are we <laughs> – is, is that an end goal? Every <laughs> Yes, yeah. Every year we're uh, in the off-season, we're going to make a musical this year. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we both like uh, musicals, mm -hmm. so um, it's just we we like to watch them. We don't know anything about making them. Neither one of us can like sing, write music, dance, um, put on a show. Like we we just want to do it. We just don't know how. So it's just about finding the right people to help us. That will because we don't even understand like the language of like how to like we were just like oh we want to be we want it to be quiet here and there's like a you know technical term for that. We don't. So we just know we like to watch them. We just don't know how to make them. One day we'll hopefully figure that out. We've got an idea. We just need to learn how to make it. Well, I, I know well, what, what you guys are doing is you're perfecting this craft and doing such a great thing for so many. So I applaud what you guys are doing. Um, I do want to say hello and welcome out to, let's see, Brandon, O'Shawn, Greg, Hannah. I'm not sure what schools everybody went to. I know Hannah went to Bama. But uh, hopefully your school has been uh, either targeted or been um, honored in these in these videos. But uh, Josh, as we're getting close toward the, the end of our discussion, and I really appreciate you sharing some time with us today. Uh, I, I want to ask you, uh, what can can our viewers, your viewers, not our viewers, but your viewers, uh, be looking You're forward to? You're already considering to, yourself in the videos. Well, I, I'm, I'm, as we're talking, I'm writing my my part. So, so thank you. We'll talk off screen. <laughs> um, what can we look forward to in the next couple of days or weeks? Or is that a week by week? Depends on what happens on the field. We'll determine what happens off the field. Yeah, that's it. Like we don't know. We don't know what we're going to do because you know we will determine. Like you know, this weekend's going to be great because you know the games are starting to get like. LSU's playing Florida, you know, there's some, there's some big game out there. So we'll see, uh, you know, everybody's back to playing too. I think maybe one school has an off this week. So um, we'll just see what happens and then see what we come up with. Well, uh, we've got, I think we pitched an idea to the network yesterday, I think, 
um, something we're going to do this week. So I don't know if that's got approved, so I can't say yet, but sure. Um, but yeah, so that'll come out Saturday morning on SEC Network, and then you know, get to work on something after that. Well, you, you know what happens every year? The, the three or four, five, six of the schools will be ranked in the top 10 or 15. It happens every year. But when we get into the meat of the season, they start to kind of cannibalize each other. And it just, that's what I think just creates such great fan bases because there is such passion in the South without, the, you know, the not so many great uh, professional leagues and organizations or teams that haven't had a lot of success. Everybody is, is either an actual alum or a sidewalk alum. So you guys, I, I hope you keep doing these for, for many years to come. So I applaud you. Oh, thanks, Bernard. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, guys, uh, sadly, we both have many other things he really needs to be doing today. I don't have anything going on for now, but we're going to have to conclude for this episode for now. So thank you, guys, for all, the, all of you who watched and the few comments that we got. Uh, another episode, we come to you every Tuesday. It's Numbered Law Live, 10 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Pacific. I don't know if the next few episodes will be quite as entertaining as Joshua is here today, but that's, that's what he does for a living. But thank you guys and hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Be well. Go time.